Okay, so the following information has been given to describe an economy. We must use this information to figure out each of these variables. The strategy I would use is I would figure out the easiest variables first and then work towards the harder ones. So looking at the information, we have been given both fact income received from the rest of the world and fact the payments made to the rest of the world which would be the reason why I would start with net factor payments. So what are net factor payments? Net factor payments are payments to domestically owned factors of production located abroad minus payments to foreign owned factors of production located here. So looking at the, the data again, factor income received from the rest of the world. So this is all our businesses out there in the rest of the world that are receiving income. So this would be first. Minus our factor payments made to the rest of the world. So the rest of the world, meaning all the foreign companies in New Zealand, all the payments we give them will effectively go to their other country. So minus 10 is the total net factor payment of minus 2. So now that we have net factor payments, the next one I'd look to solve would be net exports. The formula I would use is current account equals net exports plus net factor payments. We'll define what the current account is. The current account is the sum of the balance of trade. So it's your exports minus your imports, i.e. net exports, plus your net factor income which we discussed before. So we can then fill in the numbers. We've been given current account uh, balance is minus 30. Which equals net exports plus what we just figured out is net factor payments. So put this in brackets as minus two. We can then solve for net exports by putting the minus two on this side. And we will get minus thirty plus two, which equals minus twenty eight. So there's our net factor payments. Sorry, <laughs> there's our net exports as minus twenty eight. Alright, the next one I would solve would be GDP, and this is because we're given gross national product and we have figured out our net factor payments to be minus 2. This is all we need to figure out GDP because GDP equals GNP minus our net factor payments. Let me define this a bit better. Gross national product, or GNP, is the market value of all products and services produced in one year. Unlike gross domestic product, which define production based on a geographical location of production. So GNP allocates production based on ownership, so therefore you would want to include the net factor payments. And with GDP we are looking at those um, New Zealand owned businesses located in New Zealand, how much are they producing? So we want to exclude net factor payments, which is why we want to minus it off here down the equation. So GNP, looking in the data, was given to us as 240 equals GNP, sorry, it should be GDP equals 240 minus your net factor payments, so minus, and I just put in brackets, minus 2. So do the only calculator, it will equal 242. So that's our GDP. Okay, next I would solve consumption. Now that we have got GDP, 
So the formula I'd use for this is y equals c plus i plus g plus net exports. We can then rearrange this formula to get c on its own. So c equals y minus i minus g minus net exports. Um, we have I and we have G, it's in the data above, we'll get to that. So now we can fill in all the, all the um, variables, so Y being GDP, or, or national income, which we figured out to be 242. I standing for investment, if we look in the data, gross private domestic investment is 30, so minus 30. G standing for government spending on goods and services which is 20 and net exports we figured out to be minus 28 so we'll put that in brackets at the end so on the on the calculator equals C equals 220 And now that we have C, what else have we got up here? Private saving. Um, we can figure that one out. I'll do it above up here. The formula for private saving is your GDP or national income plus your net factor payments minus your taxes plus your transfer payments that you receive from the government plus any interest you receive from the government minus your consumption. That we could actually just copy and paste this on. And then fill in the gaps. Y, which we got as 242. Just check that. GDP, 242, yep. Plus your net factor payments. We got as minus two. Minus T, T standing for taxes, so if we look at the data, T is seventy plus our transfer payments. Transfer payments is ten looking at the data. Plus our interest from the government. Interest payments from the government is fifteen. Minus our consumption, which was two hundred and twenty. Okay, so on the calculator, seventy plus ten plus fifteen minus two twenty. Saving private equals minus twenty five. Alright, so the formula, or well, what we can do next, is our, sa our government saving, or our public saving. And the formula, formula for that is just here. So it's our tax minus our transfer, tax being the income to the government, minus any transfer payments, any interest payments, and any government spending. Again, just copy and paste that in here. And we can just fill in the gaps once again. So T, tax being 70, minus our transfer payments, which, looking at the data, was 10, minus 15 for interest, and minus how much your government spending on goods and services, it was 20. Which equals 70, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, equals 25. So finally, the last variable we have to figure out is our national savings. That's quite simple. It is simply public savings 
plus our private savings which equals minus 25 plus 25 because our private savings is minus 25 plus 25 which will equal 0 so that's our national savings equals 0 so looking at um, the two formulas here and the national savings formula here um, it equals y minus c minus g plus net factor payments um, to show you why we can look at these two formulas savings private plus savings government makes national savings so by adding these two together therefore many of these things will cancel out so we've got a minus tax up here so that cancels out with a plus tax we've got a plus transfer payments that cancels out with minus transfer payments we've got a minus interest that cancels out with a plus interest and we're left with these four variables here which make up this part of national well make up the national savings equation so it can be simplified down to y minus c minus g plus net factor payments just say we didn't have all the information but we only had these four variables we can actually work it out to be this um, anyway thanks for listening and I hope this helps um, good luck